Gia Jacuzzi, and the project that I developed is called MultiMIDI, and basically the thrust behind it is to kind of develop a DJ controller that integrates all the different parts of a normal controller into a really small, simple, um, kind of intuitive space. Because normally you can think, oh, I have like my pad section that launches sounds with all the buttons, or I have my fader sections with all these sliders that adjust volume, and then over here I have all these potentiometers or knobs that adjust like different effects parameters. I figured, okay, why don't we just combine those three separate sections into the same little piece of real estate so that maybe at the same time as you move your slider, you can move your potentiometer and you can click your button and get a lot of functionality out of the same space. So basically, um, it's a fully functional MIDI controller, so you can really map any parameter to anything you want in software. Um, so what I've chosen to do is just have every track represent a certain, or have every um, kind of combination slider, um, button and knob work as one track. Um, so here we can start up like a vocal sample if we click in the button. And now you can hear just barely it's playing in the background and we have a full echo effect on it. But if we slowly bring in the fader and take off the echo, you can see the normal samples. Um, so this far track over here, I've currently mapped this rotary encoder to a low pass filter. So as you move it, it'll change the filter gate that it's affecting this sample that's been playing. So we'll just go ahead and launch this and you can see Watch a couple more samples. This button right here is kind of multi-purpose. I usually use it as a scene launch to launch any other clips that you want. So maybe you can attach it to a chorus, you can attach it to a drop, whatever you feel like as a DJ.